So the message that wants to come through today is for the Divine Feminine that has been activated on this journey by your Twin Flame. And I wanted to share something that was coming up that's part of my experience. So early on in the journey before a separation, I remember being in physical need of help and needing support like in a physical sense and I reached out my hand for help and my twin flame looked at me and said I cannot save you which really kind of struck me as odd that that's what he said and at the time I was not in my power and I was very much in a people pleasing codependent mode where I didn't want to rock the boat or potentially say anything that would you know cause a conflict or anything like that so I didn't speak up for myself I didn't say you know that that didn't feel right you know I I, I want to feel safe and protected in your energy and that didn't feel good um, I didn't share how it made me feel when he said those things and that's one thing that came up is realizing looking back how I just let it slide and I didn't stand up for myself or stick up for myself not in a like powerful defensive way just in a hey that didn't feel you know supportive I don't feel protected and that didn't feel safe and so I wanted to talk about this a little bit more because that's actually what happened is just like a small little example a microcosm of what this actual journey is about because this journey is not about your twin flame saving you. This journey is about you saving yourself. You choosing yourself. When we are operating from our wounded feminine heart and our feminine shadow, there is a sense of powerlessness and helplessness which is really rooted in not feeling good enough and feeling unworthy. And your twin flame comes in and triggers that, triggers all of your abandonment and, you know, feeling betrayed and unworthy or not good enough or not lovable. All of these core wounds. At the basics of a wounded feminine heart, there's a need for safety. The feminine heart needs to feel safe in order to blossom in order to be open, in order to be vulnerable. And if we're not able to choose our own heart and have healthy boundaries and speak our truth and share from a vulnerable place and not be afraid to rock the boat if, that, if needed in order to share what's coming up for us, if we don't feel safe in our own body and safe in our own energy, our feminine heart will stay shut. Our feminine heart will stay closed off. And then what happens is we seek that safety outside of ourselves. We seek it in the form of a relationship and in this scenario, a twin flame, which only causes suffering because your twin flame can only mirror back to you what you're holding within yourself because you're the same soul in two different bodies it's your soul is here to ascend that's the purpose of this connection and it's going to reflect back to you any place that you're hiding from yourself or you're you're allowing yourself to buy into the story of unworthiness And so on a small little micro level, having that physical experience where he literally said, I cannot save you, that was actually just a metaphor for the entire journey. And in that moment, I was not saving myself when I stayed silent and didn't speak up for myself and didn't share from my heart how that made me feel. And how I didn't feel safe or protected. And that's something that if I had 
owned my worth in that moment and knew what my values were and were strong in my values and what I need from a connection, I would have been very transparent with how I was feeling. I wouldn't have been afraid to speak up or potentially rock the boat or to have a conversation that could be um, emotionally vulnerable. I would have just shared. And this, I want to be clear here, this isn't about getting another person to show up for you in the way that you need them to in order to feel safe. That is a natural byproduct of you feeling safe within yourself. And so yes, in this example that I'm sharing, it was a physical experience or moment that was playing out where I was seeking to be saved outside of myself, seeking someone else to save me and him reflecting back to me with the words, I cannot save you. There's nothing wrong with asking for support. There's nothing wrong with being supported. That's not what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with reaching your hand out and expecting that your partner help you and support you. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, that's perfectly okay. That's not the point of why I'm sharing this. This is a metaphor for the deeper meaning of this journey. And so this journey is not about being saved by anybody else, especially your twin, because your twin is only going to be able to show up and reflect back to you where you're not being true to yourself. Or if you are being true to yourself, your twin flame will be a mirror for that. You run from you, they run from you. You betray you, they betray you. They're your mirror, and your soul is here going, ah, ah, ah. They're the other half of your soul going, ah, ah, ah. No, 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 no siree. That's not what this journey's about. This journey's not about codependency. This journey's not about lack. This journey's not about scarcity. This journey's not about not feeling good enough. This journey's not about stroking each other's egos. This journey's not about external validation. No, no. This is a journey of the heart. This is a journey of going inward and connecting with all that is and and moving into a place of becoming one with all that is. Moving into heart-centered unity consciousness. And suffering is oftentimes a gateway to the spiritual journey. And not just with your twin flame. Your twin flame is one of the catalysts you chose here to experience in this life as part of your awakening process and ascension into unity consciousness. But there are people all around the planet that are waking up in waves and they're being triggered onto their spiritual journey through things like the death of a loved one or a near-death experience or maybe they're having some kind of diagnosis or you know some kind of traumatic event or loss of a career or all sorts of things that trigger that trigger this process and suffering tends to get one's attention Suffering tends to bring one to their knees to the point where eventually you have no choice but to go inward. And so there is a beauty to this journey and it's unfolding for you right before your very eyes and parts of the journey, depending on what phase you're in, are going to feel excruciating. But I can say from going through that and walking through that fire, that transformative, alchemizing fire, 
the one that allows for your rebirth, like the phoenix rising from the ashes, that on the other side of that suffering, if you're willing to choose yourself and you're willing to go inward and you're willing to make this journey really what it's about, which is your ascension, you will find the peace and the ease on this journey. You will find the beauty on this journey and you will open yourself up to receiving all of the love and abundance and the prosperity that you deserve on this journey. And the part of you that's worried about whether or not that includes your twin flame, because I know exactly that's probably where your mind is going, the part of you that needs to know that is the part of you that you are transcending, the egoic mind that is worried about what's happening. And just to be clear, that if you're in a position where you're pining over someone and obsessed over someone or fixated over someone that A, is not choosing you or is rejecting you or betraying you or abandoning you or making you feel like an option or running away from you, that is attachment. And you are here to transcend attachment. You are here to transcend neediness that is rooted in fear-based consciousness, rooted in lack, scarcity, or a feeling of unworthiness. And part of this process is healing your feminine heart and really coming home to yourself and feeling safe within your own body and within yourself and fully, fully trusting in life and in yourself and being able to take guided actions from that place, sacred masculine actions from that place. But you have to consciously choose your own freedom on this journey. You have to choose it. You are a divine creator And you get to consciously choose what it is that you want to experience. And so you have to choose your own heart and your own truth above all else on this journey. This is what will shift the energy and catapult you into fully embodying your divine feminine essence and power. If you would like support on this journey in fully awakening and embodying your divine feminine essence and fully claiming your sovereignty on this journey, then I welcome you to check out Embody the Empress. You can find that below in the caption. And until next time, I hope this finds you well. Namaste.